So multiply your top numbers together, multiply your bottom numbers together. So on this first example they give you, they've got five six times three fifths. That's all they do. They're multiplying five times three and six times five. Then they get 15 over 30. Okay, how do they reduce that down, 15 and 30? By going, by going back to the They could have done that or? No, 15. They could go by 15. When you're simplifying, you're just dividing. You're finding a common factor and dividing. So they divided by 15, divided by 15. That's how they got one half. Okay, if we're multiplying and dividing, if we're multiplying and dividing mixed numbers, we have to turn our mixed number into an improper fraction. So do we remember how to do that? No. From last year? No. Okay. No. What we're going to do is we take that mixed number, so two and two thirds, multiply your whole number, your big number, and make it a... Uh, and your denominator, eight. and then add your top number, your numerator. So two times three is six, plus two is... Eight. And then whatever your denominator was in the fraction, you just keep that same number. Wait, so you're making what? Times one and one fourth. So we multiply our whole number by our denominator, one times four, and add your numerator. So one times four is four, plus one is five, and I keep the same denominator. And you can multiply across. So in the top example, they did that. They multiply across eight times five is 40, three times four is 12, and then they turned it back into a mixed number. One thing you can do to make it a little bit easier if once you get into having bigger numbers, because not all of your numbers are gonna be this small, just like you simplify a regular fraction, we can reduce these, we can reduce this problem by looking at your numbers diagonal from each other. So if you look at those diagonal numbers and think about if they have any common factors. So three and five don't, but the factors of four, we've got two, four, the factors of eight, two, four, eight. So we can reduce these two, yeah, by four. So if I divide both of those by four, that turns this into two, right? This into one. So now you're just multiplying two thirds times five over one. Okay, not mandatory. It's just a shortcut that you can use to make your fractions a little bit smaller. So if we multiply across 10 over three, this and this are the same. Okay, this one's just reduced because we reduced it in the problem. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, if I turn 10 thirds into a mixed number, do I get the same answer? You get the same answer. Instead of reducing near the end and multiplying these big numbers, you reduce at the beginning. You don't have to do this. If you're still pretty bad at simplifying and reducing is hard and you can't visualize it, then do it like the top version and you'll get the same answer. I'm just saying once we get into bigger numbers, it's easier to kind of reduce it at the beginning before you get started. Okay. Example two, one third times two and a half. So what do I need to do to that two and a half? Turn it into a uh, improper fraction. Improper, and how do I do that? By multiplying two and two and then adding one. Multiplying so two and two butterfly butterfly. and adding one. So I get five over two and then multiply across. Five times one, five. and three times two, six, and that's it. It's as wow, small as we can go. Okay, down at the bottom, two thirds times two times two thirds. So numerators multiply these together. Two times two, four, four, nine. four, four three times three, nine, four, and then nine. Next four, nine. Time, seven, sixteen. The next one, same thing. One times seven is seven. 
2 times 8 is 16. That's as small as we can go. This one is one fifth. Okay, on the next one, we've got a negative and a positive. So what does that tell you about your answer? It's going to be negative. That it's going to be negative. Negative 1 fifth. Okay. And then we can multiply across. What do we get? Three. Uh, we get one. We get one. Oh yeah. Negative four. I'm talking about like three, and then three goes. Three fifteen is good, and we can reduce it, right? Yeah, we can. Do one yeah, fifth. one fifth. One fifth, because we can divide by three. Or we can do that cross thing with three and three. Mhm. Mm yeah, you could have done that too. That's what I was trying to say. You could have done that. You could have changed that to one and that to one. Yeah. I see what you're saying. No, you didn't. That'd been good. On number four. Okay, number four. We've got five nights. We're going to make four, four. Oh, yeah. I we add a one that. under it. Because if I divide four by one, four yeah. divided by one is what? That's true. Four. So nothing changes. So it's nine. nine. So five that's times that's four. It's two, okay. two nine. <laughs> I got 20 over 9, and then I need to turn that into a mixed number. Two and two ninths. Good. Two and two ninths. Oh, God. I know what to do. Number five, I've got a positive 1 and 2 thirds and a negative 3 fifths. So already, is your answer going to be positive or negative? Okay, I'm going to have a negative answer. What do I need to do to 1 and 2 thirds to make him match? Right, or what am I going to do? Butterfly effect. Three, flip it. Times one. Okay. See, this is one two. Perfect. So three times one is three plus two is five. Five times negative three over five. It's negative one. Ooh, you can multiply across, so that gives us negative 15 over 15. Or if you reduced it in the problem, you would have ended up with one and one. And one and one. <laughs> okay. See, I never got that. So this reduces to be negative one. Got it. Okay. Three and three fourths, one and one six. So I need to do what first? Um, change, uh, change both of them. <laughs> Change both of them. How? Uh, you divide three times and then add three, and then you and get twenty-one. Okay, so three times four is twelve. Plus three is thirteen. Can you stop? Plus wait, three. No. Twelve plus three. Oh, wait, wait. Twelve Seven, is fifteen. 15. 15. Okay, fifteen oh, over four. And then I need to do the same thing with one and one six. So one times six. Seven. It'd be seven. Plus one is seven. Oh, over six. Okay. Oh, no. We got 105 of it. Oh, yeah. We can try to reduce it here first. So think about your factors of 4 and 7. They don't have any that match up. But 15 and 6, do they have factors that match up? Oh, what do they have? Yeah. Wait. 30. No. Yes, 30. They yes. share 3. Uh, wait. Because when we're reducing, we're dividing. So if I divide 15 by 3, I get 5. And six by three, I get two. Okay? If you multiply across on the top, just like it is, you'll end up getting the same answer. So do we do butterfly effect? The same answer, regardless of which route you took. Okay? So four and three eighths should be what you finally get. Regardless of which route you take.